whatever troubles you're going through today, it's not anything Jesus can't relate to and in one sense hadn't been through worse. A pastor at Belmont Church, we have a wide range of pastors. There's everything from our teaching pastor that preaches on Sundays to I'm probably at the other end of the spectrum because I'm rarely in the church building. Um, I do a lot of my ministry, if you will, my work outside of the church. So I'm talking to people that are on the streets that are either have you know, health problems or looking for a job or you know, some kind of addiction and really trying to uh, pray with them and help them get the resources they need to do what God's called them to do. My uh, job responsibilities are mainly uh, doing, the, as I said before, the local outreach to the poor. Um, <clears throat> I speak at each of the, we do four lunches a week um, in two different locations um, that, that shifts uh, seasonally. Um, and I usually speak for about 10 or 15 minutes before each one of the lunches and try to share some encouraging word from the scriptures and, um, and then keep the, when you're serving that many meals a week, it's usually four or 500, just keep all that coordinated, uh, make sure that the, the leaders of each outreach are getting the food they need and the resources they need, the volunteers to help man the outreaches. Um, I also mentor the guys in our men's home and meet with them uh, and try to bring other mentors into that uh, situation. Uh, we have a women's home where we try to bring you know, other healthy females in, into the home to mentor the girls and kind of give them a target to shoot at, uh, you know, someone who's doing well and th that they can ask questions and try to emulate. So um, I also oversee the cutting crew, which is our landscaping company, and make sure that that's running well and the guys that are uh, supervising or doing what they're supposed to be doing and uh, just keeping the business running as smoothly as we can, watching the finances, uh, that kind of thing. My daily schedule, um, I kind of, I, I like to tell people my daily schedule is, there really isn't a normal one um, and there's never a dull moment in the type of ministry I do. So depend, a lot of times I'm uh, involved in situations that come up maybe at the lunch, there's someone who needs a ride to the bus station or needs to get to North Carolina so it's it's trying to figure out how to resource that person first to make sure it's a legitimate request and then how to get the resources to to get them where they need to go uh, sometimes it's getting a prescription filled sometimes it's giving somebody a ride to to their job sometimes it's getting them in a job training class uh, sometimes it's just you know some of the normal things I do besides the speaking and, and meeting with the guys at our um, our home, our residential home, um, are, are kind of the, the paperwork behind the scenes and making sure that you know we have the um, the the paperwork necessary to get the food donations and when people donate that they get their tax letter for doing that and kind of coordinating with the church at large um, what we're doing so that the people in our body know what's going on with Isaiah 58 and. A lot of times they'll say, wow, we didn't know you were serving so many meals. So my job is to be the communicator between what's going on in the streets and what's going on in the church building and trying to get people more involved. So, um, you know, I guess my job's kind of split 50% inside the church trying to get people involved and then 50% outside, you know, trying to help people that, that need help.